G'day YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be looking at what new information has come out from Ultimate Hunting in the month of April. There has also been a new hunting game announced called The Way of the Hunter, and if you'd like me to cover that in another video, please let me know in the comments. All right, enough of that. It's time for me to get into the video and for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Ultimate Hunting this month dropped a whole bunch of information for us to dive into, so let's have a look. The first thing that we see is a 3D model of a buffalo, and they say that the last time they presented us with concept art of a buffalo and mentioned that they were working on a 3D model of the animal. So here is a 3D model. Tell me what you think. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to be hunting them in game. I'm interested to see what colors the final animal will have. The next thing we see is the start of a new series. We are starting a new series in which we will be able to present to you guns, items, gadgets, etc. available in our game. And they start off by showing us the Titan 6 from Rossler, Austria and ask us how would we customize it in game? What are our must haves when it comes to gun add-ons? And there is also the photo of the weapon, a little bit more about the calibers you can have, the customization, and a little bit of trivia about the weapon as well, which you're welcome to pause the video and look into. Next, they posted on April Fools, but just letting us know that there won't be any April Fools jokes this time around, but maybe next year or even the year after when the game releases, that they will have time to mess with us and joke around with us in the future. Then there was a quiz posed to the ultimate hunting audience. Can you guess what this caller is for? Type your answer in the comments below and they gave us the options goose, turkey, cow elk and moose. Now a couple days later, they revealed the answer and it was a cow elk caller. Now this is something we haven't seen in Call of the Wild for example and it's going to be really interesting to finally use something like this to hunt elk within the game. Something new to us, we're used to the beautiful bugle of a normal elk we don't really get the small sort of meep sound from a cow elk when calling in animals. So this will be very interesting and I can't wait to give it a go myself. The next thing we see is the Chakma Baboon family. Ultima Hunting says, how do you like it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. P.S. Keep in mind that these models are still being worked on, especially the female and cub heads. Now let's assume that the male on the left is pretty much complete. I think it looks absolutely amazing. As for the female and the cub, I think they look fine. I mean, the female's head looks very similar to the male's, as it should though. And the juvenile's head is relatively large for its body, but I actually think it's kind of cute. And I mean, I know I won't be shooting any juvenile animals in the game. So it's not like I'll have to feel bad about hunting these things, even though they look so dang cute. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. The next piece of information Ultimate Hunting dropped was actually a video. Yes, we have more of a video from Ultimate Hunting. I will let it play right now. Ultimate Hunting says, slowly and carefully entering the new week. Warning, the following footage presents pre-alpha content recorded using the Unreal Engine 4 technology. The California map is not completed and there is so much more to work on. The environment is not final and all of the sounds are placeholders implemented to keep the material live. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly just talk about it and I want to say that I'm not going to stress about the sounds within this video because most likely those aren't going to be the sounds we're hearing when we're walking through this exact spot in the game. But with what we can see, I think it looks absolutely amazing. The way the light is hitting the barrel of the gun and the scope and the wood. It's really, really awesome. You can see the shadows from the trees. I think it looks great. I'd love to know your comments in the comments below. My favorite piece of information that came out this month was the announcement of the MDR recurve bow, which is a modern take on an old traditional bow. And Ultimate Hunting asks, would you prefer a classic bow, compound bow, or a crossbow to hunt with? The reason why this is my favorite thing out of this month is because I recently purchased an MDR recurve bow and I've been using it just a little bit in the backyard for some target shooting and whatnot. So it's going to be really interesting to use it in the game. I think it's awesome. It's another weapon that's pretty new to us. I don't think I've ever seen one in a video game. So it should be a lot of fun. And it does state that you can use it from the smallest species like ducks all the way up to the largest like hippos and elephants, which is great. And again, we do have some trivia and calibers on this weapon. The next is a continuation on the Q&A series. So type in your question in the comment section and we will have the most upvoted one next Friday. So here is a photo as well. You can see a beautiful duck making its way onto what I'd assume to be a lake. This was then followed up. Welcome to our eighth Q&A. Chase asked about something new, a trailer, <laughs> gun sounds, animal blood trails, and death animations. And the answer is the trailer is underway. 
about gun sounds and general sound design, such things will be done in the later stages of development. What you can hear in the video is just a placeholder sound, as we don't want to test our game in complete silence, but you can expect superb sound effects. About death animations, there will be some variation for them, specific for each species and family. The gameplay is captured in Unreal Engine 4, not the final work. There are a lot of things to be improved on like weapon recoil, almost none in this video, animation blending and more. About the scope view, yes, we will have the full scope. This one is an optional view. We kind of knew that already though. Thank you for your questions, take care. And here is the video right now. One thing I love is the way the animal ragdolls. So let's just say you've taken a great shot at an animal, completely dropped it on the spot. The way it just ragdolls to the ground, I actually really like that. Tell me what you think in the comments below. The second to last piece of information that we got about the game was this post here. We love paying attention to even the smallest details. We want our animals to be unique and polished in every aspect. So we would like to show you our random canine generator for Warthog. How do you like this feature? What else could we implement to have our species distinctive? The Warthog head texture is not the final product and is for illustrative purposes only. This looks awesome. You can definitely see how the tusks of these Warthogs are different. I really like it. I think they're going to look great. I'm curious to see what it will look like on the final model, but this is definitely getting my tick of approval. What about yours? The last piece of information about the game that we got in April was this. Science, bro. Do you know exactly how red dot sites work? Now, personally, I don't, but I do love to see that we have a new red dot site in the game. It has got a magnification of one times, which means that we won't have really any magnifications, but using weapons like shotguns, rifles, handguns, it'll be nice to see where your bullet is going to hit without taking away what you can see from your surroundings. So that's awesome to see that we're going to have red dot sights in the game. The last post that came out from the Ultimate Hunting Facebook page was just this. There is no forest without trees and no hunting without a rifle. And what, in your opinion, can't be missing from a decent hunting game? Tell us your favorite feature, mechanic or else, out there. Another way that Ultimate Hunting is really reaching out to the community and wanting to get your ideas. So please, you can use this video as your reply in the comments below. I'd love to see that there. Also, if you didn't know, about 95% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. And I want to try to hit 5,000 subs by the end of the year. So you can help us out by doing that. Other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for so much for watching. See you later.